Senator John McCain and Lindsey Graham must be pretty happy with themselves right now. Ambassador Susan Rice withdrew from the race before it even started for Secretary of State. Time for us to discuss it with our roundtable. Rahel Tesfamariam, columnist for the WashingtonPost.com. Dr. Chris Metzler, political scientist from Georgetown University, stepping up his tie and ascot, tie and pocket square game. Good job. <laughs> Deborah Simmons, senior correspondent for the Washington Times, and Joseph Williams, contributor for the Griot.com. All right, folks, let's get right to it. Uh, shameful, I, and I will say shameful, that Susan Rice had to withdraw her name uh, from consideration for Secretary of State. Uh, the vicious attacks against her uh, were unbelievable. Even the sea folks try to invoke the bombings of our embassies in 1998, somehow as if she was over security. Uh, she talked, of course, with Brian Williams uh, of NBC News with regards to why she stepped aside. Here's what she had to say. I withdrew my name because I think it's the right thing for the country. And I think it's the right thing for the president. Uh, and putting those things together, that makes it the right thing for me and my family. Uh, I've all my life uh, been a public servant. Uh, I'm not a political person uh, by, uh, at my foundation. I just want to, as I've had in academia and think tanks and two terms, uh, two administrations of this government, tried to, to do the right thing. And that's uh, what I'm going to continue doing. You've pulled yourself out today. Did you want the job? I would have been very honored to serve in that job, just as I'm delighted to do what I'm doing. But yes, yeah, sure. How can you not want to, if in my field, serve uh, at the highest possible level? Reality is this was her dream job. She wanted the first time around the president named uh, Senator Hillary Clinton to the post. Uh, and so, look, she's being, I think, as gracious as possible, but she desperately wanted to be Secretary of State. Your thoughts? Well, you can kind of hear it in that interview where she caught herself when Brian Williams asked her if she really wanted the job. She caught herself for a minute and then had to talk about how she's honored to continue to serve in this administration to be a public servant. But you could tell that there was there was something about the way she said that that indicates that this was a very, very bitter pill to swallow. She swallowed it very, very graciously and uh, reflecting, at least in that uh, uh, interview, about how poorly she was treated at the hands of two people that were supposed to be very esteemed senators. Yeah. And I think the question is, um, why was there any discussion of whether or not she could be trusted? I mean, someone who has served this long, you know, has done so much, there was rhetoric about whether or not she could be trusted. If so John McCain even tried to question her intelligence. Exactly. And I think that was alarming to me because we don't turn around and then ask the Republicans why they should be trusted because they seem to be doing this for the American public, but there's always this undergirding of, of reasons that they don't always tell us. Well, I, I still, I still don't know what the issue is with Susan Rice is. Right. I, 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 right. I, and, and, and so for me, the question is, she's clearly qualified. Mm -hmm. That's not the issue. Mm -hmm. So what's the real issue? She was, if only the senators were as gracious in their critique of her as she was in withdrawal, then we would have seen a much better Washington. Look, the fact of the matter is, they don't like her for whatever reason. Well, first of all, Chris, we heard these ridiculous things about, well, she, to be a diplomat, she sometimes, is, she's too rough. Uh, the New York Times had this comment of that that she snapped at uh, a Chinese diplomat uh, in some meetings when, I'm sorry, I, I guess I don't mind there being a tough member of the United Nations. And, right, and right, not right. only that, okay, how dare any Republican have the audacity to call her too tough when President George W. Bush had John Bolton well, well, as his well, UN ambassador? Well, Give me a break. Who couldn't but you get know confirmed, what? by the way. Yeah, how about that? <laughs> but you know what? I think um, Ambassador Rice gave us an... She, she herself said, she gave us the, I'm not a political person. In other words, the issue of being the ambassador and to interchange with all of these different ethnicities, heads of states on any given subject at any given time is not the issue that these folks who are criticizing me are looking at. It's a political game because they're members of Congress. And they also were attacking and, her because of Benghazi. But Deborah, here, and, I don't understand. And, and I'm serious. I don't understand. And please answer and, this. And her spine is as stiff as Hillary's spine, uh, who has to play all these political but, 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 games. But, but, but answer this for me. And this is what bothers me. She was attacked because of security. 
Right. When she was not over the State Department. Right. She was attacked over right. intelligence. Right. She's not over the CIA. Right. I find it interesting that McCain, Graham, Kelly A.I., all of right. them, nobody wanted to question Secretary of State Clinton. No. Nope. None of them wanted to question David Petraeus. Right. None of them wanted to question them. So they said, we're going to make you the target when those are the folks who should be asked to tell questions Targeted. what happened the in Target and the scapegoat. What? Ambassador Rice was made the target and the scapegoat. Moreover, Hillary, what, two months ago, came out and said, hello, America, I'm responsible for what happened. But well, they chose not to <laughs> question her. They didn't, they didn't want to hear it because they were making Sunday talk shows safe for democracy, basically, where she had gone on these chat shows and said something that was the best intelligence available. At, the, and this, at that time. At that time. Right. And this is the purview of Graham. This is the purview of McCain. This is what they do. And to have her make a t be made a target for saying something that... At factually at that moment was correct, but later was found out to be incomplete. It's really ridiculous. Now, hold on. Andre Mitchell of NBC News, she reported that uh, senior women in the Obama administration were not happy at all uh, with what took place with her having to withdraw. Here's that also he accepted it? Or that, his, that, that, that she had to withdraw and that he accepted it. Uh, and here, of course, is my, my homegirl, Donna Brazil, okay. on CNN giving her reaction. I was angry. I got a call from uh, Roland Martin who said, you, have you heard the news? And I said, absolutely. She should not step down. Uh, President Obama has not even made his intentions known, and yet for two months she's been attacked viciously. I've been in Washington for 30 years, so I, I, I understand the attack game. But she was attacked for her qualifications, and she was bludgeoned over Benghazi before we have any information that's going to come from Ambassador Pickering. I think it's unfair. I thought the attacks were gratuitous. I thought it's mean-spirited. This is the old boys network, so as you can tell, I don't like it. Susan is more than qualified to hold the position. I wish the president would have went forward and women like myself and perhaps some good men like David would have found reasons to support her. I understand that there's a partisan nature of this and the Republicans are having an issue with her, but this is a very well qualified woman and she should have had the job. So you're saying he should have fought for her? Absolutely. And I agree. I think that he should look. And I wrote this column three weeks ago. I said the president should look the Republicans in the eye and say, I dare you to vote her down. This is my choice. And I get this whole deal in Washington when people say there are other agenda items. But I'm sorry. There could be more than one thing on the table other than fiscal cliff, other than immigration. And he should look them in the eye and say, yeah, you want to be against her? Then you against me. She's my choice. Yeah. And, and, and look, the, the whole intelligence thing, they, they keep she she presented based on the intelligence that was available at the time. No, intelligence given to, to her, her by the intelligence folks. Yeah, but and, and here's the thing. Have we forgotten where are the weapons of mass destruction? I mean, you know, we go back to the same thing. What they said at that point is we presented based on the intelligence that we had at the time. Joe, That's should the, the president have nominated her even with the opposition? It's a tough call. I mean, on the yes one hand, no. well, yes. In my opinion, yes. Because of that very scenario, vote her down. The optics would look really horrible to have her in committee and gotcha. have five white guys saying no. And also, I think that also, Deborah, yes or no, should the president have not her anyway? Yes. Chris, you already yes. say yes? Yes, and I say so because uh, there are a lot of issues, gender and race, that aren't being talked about, but I think it would have been a stand for more than just her as a politician. Also, the United States Senate love protecting their own. They want to see their boy, John Kerry, to be Secretary of State. That's also part of the deal. Hello, the following I'm sorry. sister Hillary. Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but again, that, that's the game they play, but should have been nominated anyway. Folks, we'll continue the conversation when we come back.